two hands. Okay, I got it. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm driving right now, which is why I'm not looking at you. We have a special guest joining us today who's holding the camera. Hi vlog. Today's a very exciting and not expected video. I'm not even ready for it or expecting it. But yesterday, a little backstory. Well, I've been looking for a golden retriever puppy for a while. Kind of like me moving out. I wasn't seriously looking, but I still found one. And we found one yesterday from a mutual friend. Um, she's not a breeder. She Her dogs just ended up having puppies and it was out of their control. So they are giving them to people. I reached out to them yesterday and they got back to me really fast so we went to go see the puppies yesterday for the first time and she was like, oh, well they'll be eight weeks tomorrow so they're available to go tomorrow. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so we went, played with a few of them and I decided on one and we're about to go pick it up. It's 7.40 right now and we went and got all of his stuff yesterday got all of this stuff yesterday at like Marshalls and Ross and PetSmart. No one knows, like none of my family, none of his family, like his mom doesn't know we're gonna go surprise her after. And it's gonna be a very good surprise. And I'm really excited. I couldn't sleep at all last night. I watched so many puppy videos last night on like training and crate training and everything. But I'll talk to you more about that later. I don't want to talk a lot right now because it's gonna be really loud with the car. This collar, we're not gonna put it on him yet, but we'll show you. Yeah, I'll probably update you once we get him, and I'll talk more about him later. See you when we get there. We have like a 30 minute drive. Okay, bye. We're here. Let's go get a puppy. I'm so excited. I'm kind of nervous. Why? Okay, BRB. Ah! I don't want to scream because I'm gonna hurt his little ears, but this is our my new baby. Our new baby, but mine really, because he's gonna be living with me. They said he was the cuddliest one in the litter. He's eight weeks old and he's so precious. He's so soft. They just gave him a bath. They just clipped his nails. They gave me all his paperwork, like all his shot records. And they also gave me some food, a couple toys, a blanket from his litter. You're looking at me and you probably don't want to be looking at me, so. Oh, he's so happy. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited. Oh. Yeah, he's got big paws. He's gonna be pretty big. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna spend some quality time with my new baby, but I will update you guys later. Look who's tired. The newborn. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, well, this is probably gonna be the best vlog ever because it's my first actual vlog with baby Rocco. I named him Rocco. He is so amazing. I wanted to vlog today as like my f kind of first day with my puppy because I got him yesterday morning, but yesterday all day I had all my family over and he was just meeting them and all that. So today's like my first actual real day with him. I need to keep my eyes on him literally at all times, which is so fun. Come on, come on Rocco. And yeah, come here. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi to the camera? Oh my gosh, I love him so much, you guys. He's literally God sent. He's so good for me. <laughs> I love you. If you know me, you know I have been wanting a golden for literally my entire life. There, I've never wanted any other dog. I've always wanted a golden first um, as my first dog because I know how amazing they are, how family oriented they are, just amazing. So he, just a little info about him. I love you. He's from a litter of nine puppies, I believe. Literally nine brothers and sisters. I knew I wanted a boy dog. I chose between him, his brother, and there's also two more of his sisters available, but I narrowed it down to the boys. So I decided between him and his brother, and they told me that that he was the more cuddly one. He loves to cuddle, and it's so true. He literally loves to sleep, loves to cuddle. He's just the best ever. He did not come potty trained or crate trained or any of that, so I'm working on that all, all on my own, which is fine. Um, he came with his first round of shots, so I still have to find a vet for him today. I need to get him insured. I need to go get him some more stuff. I have a few things already for him, but I still need 
more like some treats and like things to train him and all that because I plan to do that. You see what I mean? <laughs> I plan to do that like today, um, like start doing it strictly today. He slept in his crate last night, kind of. I, I'm just, I can't, I couldn't. I, I don't know. I really, really need to be more strict with it and figure that out and figure out all the best ways to do it. Um, I had him in there for a while. He was fine. He was sleeping. And then he started crying around like two in the morning, I think. So then I woke up and then let him out. Um, for a little bit and I just blocked him off with his crate and some pee pads so that he could go out and pee when he wanted to so he was fine with that he didn't pee in his crate at all or poop in his crate he peed on the pee pads which was amazing yeah I took him out for a little bit which I know you're not supposed to do in the beginning you're not supposed to give in to their whines but <laughs> that happened and then I put him back in there he slept until like um six or something something like that I don't know he was amazing like you were so good last night and I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. All my family loved him yesterday. Literally no one knew I was getting him. He was a huge surprise for my whole family and for all of you guys. You guys didn't know that I was getting one for sure. Um, where's your toy? He loves this little duck toy because this came w with um, him. So it was it has all his like siblings scent on it. It's gonna be impossible to keep him in here because he just wants to play right now. But yeah, I uh, he's so amazing. That's that's all I have to say. So today I need to finish getting him registered, get him insured. He's chasing his tail right now. And then also go pick up a puppy, uh, not crate, like playpen type of thing from my boyfriend's mom because she's gonna give it to me because she doesn't need it anymore for her puppy. So I'm very grateful about that because I was gonna go get one. Come on, come get your toy, not the basket. And I'm gonna go to Petco probably and pick up some treats and all that. And yeah, I'm so, just so happy. And I posted him on my Instagram today and everyone was so excited. I just love him. I love him a lot. And I need to continue to educate myself on training and all of that, especially this week. I'm gonna focus, focus, focus on that because I start online classes next Monday. So I have a week with him to focus solely on him and getting him all trained and everything. So that is very exciting. Rocco, come here. Rocco, Rocco. And also the reason, hello. <laughs> you are such a fluff ball. The reason that I'm doing pee pads is because he doesn't have all of his shots yet. He only has his first round. And I know you're not supposed to take them around other dogs like poop and pee before they have all their shots. So I'm waiting for that. And I'm pee pad training for now. You look here, boy. Oh my gosh, that jump. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. It's perfect. That's that's all I have to say. So, welcome to my vlog. If you're new here, my name's Lauren. I have a new baby and his name's Rocco and he's eight weeks old. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so he came with a whole packet from his AKC registration. So he's already registered, but I need to... They offer a free month of insurance on that with an AKC registration, I guess. So, I'm gonna figure all that out. Also a puppy obviously so he's in the biting nibbling stage no biting no biting here here this for you you could bite this um so that's also something I need to work on with training him is to not bite people but just his toys so I'm on the AKC website right now and I'm gonna figure out how to register like fully register him and all that so I'm gonna do that right now you missed it I wasn't recording, but he was about to poop right here on the carpet. And I saw him, hey, no, 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 Goodness. And then I saw him squatting down. I grabbed him, sprinted over to the pee pad, and he dropped it on the pee pad. My heart's beating <laughs> really fast. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up though. Okay, so he's been sleeping on the floor right next to me. I've just been registering him for all of this stuff. Um, I got him insured through Nationwide, but that doesn't start like come into effect until March something so like three more weeks So I guess I'm gonna have to wait until three more weeks or so so that I can go to the vet and get his second round of vaccines Um and like the initial checkup and stuff, but that's fine. I guess he can't get his next shots until 12 weeks anyways So or 10 weeks 12 weeks so I have to wait anyways either way so that's fine he's all insured now which is good um now I'm emailing my apartment 
complex like management and sending them all the information about him they need like pictures shot records all the info so i'm doing all that right now it's 10 35 i haven't even eaten breakfast yet so that's fun but i'm gonna finish this up and then probably eat something but look he's just been laying right next to me and he loves his toys he loves his little dragon that i got him i'll definitely show you guys everything that i bought for him um a little later in this video because i got him like all his initial stuff you know but i will show you guys when i can he was doing so well today with peeing on the pee pads but he just had an accident in my bathroom excuse me for the first time today which is you know it's okay he has been doing he's been doing so well today so i was very proud of him with that but we are gonna head to petco after we go pick up the little baby gate thing from my boyfriend's mom and yeah i need to figure out what i need to bring him i'm gonna bring his leash just in case i don't know if i'm gonna need it obviously but i'm gonna bring it and then i'm also gonna bring one of his toys you crazy boy you crazy boy he also loves chasing his tail, which is what he's doing. Okay, I'm gonna bring blanket, toy, poopy bags, and a couple pee pads for the car just in case. And then we're gonna head out. So we just went to Petco and he was such a good boy sitting in the cart. And as soon as I put him down in here, he peed all over the pee pad. But he's being so, so good. I'm so glad that he waited until we got in here to go to the bathroom. Oh, he's so sweet. I got him some training treats. So these are the Blue Buffalo Bites Tasty Chicken Soft Moist Training Treats. He eats Blue Buffalo food. Um, I'm keeping him on that for now while he's still young because that's what they were feeding him before I got him. So I'm going to keep him on the same food to make it easy on him. And then I also got a new little dog tag with his name on it. And I got a harness that I didn't check the price of before I got it because I thought it wouldn't be that expensive. And it ended up being $35, so I think I'm gonna return it <laughs> another day. But for now, that's that's all. Um, I'm gonna go pick up the baby gate thing now. He's probably really thirsty, so I'm gonna give him some water too in a little bit. And yeah, look at my good boy. My good boy Rocco. Oh, you Rocco. Okay, let's go. Back home, just parked. This is the only way that he let me drive. He would not have it being alone on the floor. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, now I have to haul everything upstairs by myself, so this is gonna be a struggle, but let's go. Okay, it's a lot later now. I honestly kind of forgot I was vlogging, not gonna lie. I've just been very busy. My dad came over and he helped me. Oh, excuse me, can I have that? He mounted my TV for me, he hung those picture frames finally, and I still need to get prints for those. And he hung this mirror, yay. And now I'm just playing with Rocco. He actually met Rocco today for the first time too, which was exciting. And they were so cute. He literally just slept the whole time though, so he didn't really get to see any of his playfulness, but. Rocco. <laughs> there he is. Ah! Puppy teeth. He's biting my viewfinder. <laughs> He's literally so clumsy. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. I love you so much. <laughs> so, no biting. No biting. No biting. Ow. <laughs> You've been so sleepy all day. Now you're all so hyper. So hyper. So crazy. So crazy. So crazy. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let him play with that. I'm gonna show you guys what I got him out of everything. So I'm just gonna literally just pick him up and show you because that's just the easiest way to do it. I got this little dragon toy, so cute. It has a squeaker in it. Um, This was from Ross or Marshalls, I don't remember, but he loves this thing so much. He loves all the toys I got him, which makes me really happy. And then I also got this soccer ball rope thingy. It's like a rubber ball with some ropes. He also likes that because he likes to chew on it. I got him this blanket from Ross and it was like $10. It's just really soft. This is what we brought him home in. Also got this toy. It's like a um, AKC toy actually, and it's like good for their gums, especially when they're teething, but he doesn't really play with this one yet. I think it's too big for him. And then I got a snuggle puppy. Um, basically, if you don't know what these are, they're like the most high recommended things ever for new puppies who just came home because they have a like heartbeat inside um, well it's like a battery operated little heartbeat and you can also put a heating pad in there to mimic like their litter mates so since he was always so used to being around like nine other dogs obviously it's very different for him and he had a little bit of a rough night last night but I think this definitely helped him a lot so that was good 
definitely recommend this and he loves playing with it too and he always sleeps on it like puts his head on it like this mm, so cute and then i got this little bed which is literally gonna last him like two weeks probably because he's gonna grow so fast but I got this from Marshalls, just a fluffy bed, nothing crazy. I got two of these little white bowls. One of them says bark, the other one says like wolf or something for his water and food. And then I got this pack of little mini tennis balls so I could try to teach him how to play fetch. It's not working out too well yet, but we're working on it. Rocco, Rocco, come here. Rocco, I don't know what you're doing. Come here. I got him this little collar. It's like army green. It's a medium though, so it's a little big on him. I wanted to get a bigger one because I knew he would just grow out of the small so fast. So I got him this. And then today I got him the little name tag too. So I put that on here for when he's big enough to like go on walks and stuff. He'll have this. He just... <gasps> no bite my viewfinder. Nope. I guess that's what I get for putting you on the ground, right? And then what else? I got his crate. Also, because I'm trying to crate train, I got a size medium in that, so he fits in it right now with the divider, and then once he gets bigger, I can take the divider out and he'll fit in the whole thing. And then, yeah, I think that's about it. I feel like there's more. Other than the stuff I got like today, like the treats and the harness and stuff, I think that's all. Um, they gave me a bag of food. I think I'm just gonna, I'm like really hungry. It's 5.48 right now. Probably gonna make some dinner and then try to wear him out. Are you gonna be Rock up. Try to wear him out so he sleeps tonight. Stop it. So yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. Say hi to your friends. They all love you. Oh, I made him an Instagram today. Also, it's Golden Boy Rocco. Let's take a thumbnail. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be posting on that, honestly, because I'm going to be posting on my main account a lot, probably. But if you want to follow that one, you definitely should, because you're going to get some more pics and stuff on that account. Huh. I'm tired now. You get so sleepy so fast. I also need to do some research tonight and find some soaps, like shampoos, that I can get. Um, I just need to look for some recommendations on that so I can give him a bath too. But other than that, that's how it's going. I'm a tired new dog mom, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, it's 7 o'clock and that's when I've been feeding him dinner. And I learned that if you're crate training, it's good to feed them dinner inside their crate. So that's what he's doing right now. He's so excited, but he, I woke him up from his nap. So he's like half asleep trying to eat and it's really funny. But yeah, basically, I guess I read that you're supposed to um, like close the door while they're eating and then open the door right away when they're done eating and praise them and stuff for being in there. So that's what I'm going to do. My lips have been so dry today. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I've been watching YouTube videos while he was napping and I was reading like a bunch of crate training articles and stuff like that. I'm literally doing everything I can to get the most knowledge that I can about all this potty training, crate training, just training in general, like simple commands and stuff. And it's an exciting journey, but day two and I feel very defeated, but that's normal and I'll be okay. <laughs>